Hello and welcome back. This is the Spirit Manga 187 and another match of Shadow Era. We are going to play another deck. Uh, as you can see, right where we left off, 262 rating, so we're still going down. Um, we started with a lot more, but hey. So we're playing a Moonstalker deck today. And this is really one of my favorite decks. I'm thinking I'm almost saying my favorite deck all the time, but uh, yeah, it's really one of the favorites with Amber Lands and uh, uh, wait, let's see what we sec. Yeah, with Amber, uh, Lands is Shadowstalker and this Moonstalker. Uh, it's really one of the three, top three decks I like to play the most. But I do not think this deck can win with this rating because the opponents are pretty advanced and um, yeah, they're pretty good. Um, let's see, I want to keep this one. Um, let's just get rid of the bad Santa. Yeah. And then turn. So we're playing a Logan Stonebreaker. It's pretty nice. Uh, I like the new, uh, the new art of the new hero. I also have one foil of it myself. But I didn't play it a lot. It's a, it's a nice ability, but not very good. Um, I'm going to sacrifice the Tiger Wolf for the Captured Prey. Um, let's just get rid of this. And we want to play this. No, let's just keep it this time. So we're both not dropping anything in turn 2. I mean, also not turn 3. So that's pretty. Uh, you don't see that a lot. <laughs> Almost every deck has a turn tree drop. I think every deck has a turn tree drop. Almost always. Oh, you have a pretty crappy hand, but I have a lot of uh, uh, ally removal in this uh, in this deck. So he's playing the Blood Frenzy. Uh, going to draw some additional cards. Um. What are we going to sacrifice? Uh, well, well, well. Let's just get rid of that. And we'll just cast this one. Dealing one damage to him. Do I want to use my ability? Nope, not yet. He's going to destroy my ally for sure. But I want to save my uh, energy for a better timing. I think he's going to play the, uh, the one one damage blade that gives him two mana. I always forget those names. I the Jewelers Dream. I mean, I'm talking about. Yep, Jewelers Dream. And with that, he can destroy my uh, ally and play another card. So that blood French you really have to go, has to go. <laughs> Maybe we're drawing a spectral blade <laughs> soon. Well, there we have our Blood Moon. Um, let's just get rid of the Blood Moon. And we will uh, play our Tiger Wolf, I think. Yep, we'll just play our Tiger Wolf. And we'll end turn. Hoping he does not play Shadow Fawn. <laughs> so he can activate his ability again. So he's drawing a lot of cards. With his Blood Frenzy, so that's why I like to keep the uh, the Bad Santa. That's probably uh, if he plays some cards, but he has the fuller hand. I'm going the most advantage from the, uh, the Bad Santa. <laughs> There's a Morbid Acolyte. That sucks against my ability because he can remove the stealth, I think. Uh, and that's no problem. Um, we are just going to. We can still use the ability. Um, well, well, well. Let's play the Bad Santa. And 
will enter in here. So as you can see, he should have draw two cards this turn, but he didn't because I played the bad Santa. So I really have to make some hard choices here. Uh, next turn, I probably going to destroy his blood frenzy, removing his card drawing engine. Who went plasma behemoth is pretty effective as well. So we're going to destroy that first. Oh no, he has a protector. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Well, that behemoth is not very nice. Um, I'm kind of short of uh, <laughs> shadow energy or uh, resources. Um, this one has protector, right? Yep. So. Um, yeah, this sucks. Test protected, that really sucks. <laughs> Target item. So I can move to Krippin, bro. Mm. Wow, this is real hard. Um, let's just cast this one. And deal some damage to him quick. Uh, that was a bad decision. I have to make it pretty fast. Uh, can we destroy? Yeah, we have to destroy this one. Oh, I'm making some errors because I run out of time. Uh, let's just use our ability now and hide and enter. So I dealt the damage to his Yari and destroyed him afterwards. So that was a mistake. Um, I was short of time so I had to make the decision fast and it was a wrong one. And I really have to remove that blood frenzy but I don't have the time for it because that, that plasma behemoth has to go, go as quick as possible, as soon as possible. But I do not have the cards for that. So we're going to take some more damage. He has a full hand. Seven resources. And he's playing an Ironhide Garage. So let's just get rid of the Acid Jet. And it will cause the Spectral Blade to remove his Blood Frenzy. And deal one damage to his Plasma Beamer. And we'll hide out some more. He's still got a lot of cards advantage from the Blood Frenzy. That card is so OP. Uh, still, uh, this deck also has the the Blood Moon, which is pretty nice, but not as good as the Blood Frenzy. Well, there it goes, my mage. Well, you really, I really should have. This one cannot be alive for two turns or something. But I have nothing to destroy at this at this moment, so that sucks a lot. Um, we can play the Lightning Hunter and do yeah, three damage to him, and we'll just enter. So with that out of the way, uh, I'm just using the Lightning Hunter as cannon fodder. Probably going to blast it away with his plasma behemoth. And then attack me, taking me down to 23. And a Yari Spearman. Take me down for three. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have here. They still got two resources on it. Um, Fury and Terror. 
I do not want to sacrifice anything at this point. Um, then let's just skip it and we'll play Terra. Boom, dealing some damage to it. And this one is gone next turn. This one as well. So we'll just end turn here. Maybe I should have sacrificed uh, a card. But they're all, they're all, I all want to keep them, so. I do not want to lose any of these cards. But maybe I should have. But hey, we're still alive. <laughs> the plasma beam is in play for a very long time. Oh, there is a king sprite. That is very nasty. And he's going to buff up his weapon, dealing, destroying my tower. And now he's gonna smack me into the face. And that king sprite is really nasty. That is really a sour card. Now I'm not able of destroying his allies. Let's take me down to 15 and another 3 I think. Yep. Down to 12. With a guaranteed shot next turn. Um, oh, we want to keep that. Um, let's just get rid of that. Uh, use our ability to hide. Um, this one has five. Oh my god. Let's play another Fury in Terra. And the death match or now you're mine. And let's just cast the death match. Take it down. The next turn we have to take out the King's Pride. But I'm not able to do that yet. So if we draw uh, a Lightning Hunter, we can take down the, the King's Pride. And uh, as well the Plasma Beelmoth. He's going to shoot some more damage again. Into my Fear and Terror. Yep, we drew on a Lightning Hunter. So we can skip it and we can destroy us. No, we cannot destroy us uh, because this one can't attack. But we're still going to take it down. Um, yep, we're going to use our ability, shooting it down. And we'll play the Lightning Hunter. And attack his hero and destroying his Jewish green. Uh, he must have some uh, more uh, weapons in his hand because he got six cards, nine resources. And he got me on my knees, so he's going to sacrifice another card for another resource. Playing another Jewish green, pumping it up. Destroying my lightning hunter, yep. Gaining two life. Well, I'm not really concerned about his life at this point. Uh, bouncing back my ally, nice. Or his own. Nope. He's bouncing back my death mage. I'm playing a new morbid acolyte. Okay. Um. Just skip it and destroy the Morbid Acolyte. See, it has 4 HP. That sucks. It's going to take down the Death Mage. So let's just cast this one and sacrifice it. And we'll enter here. We're still with our back against the wall. Um, King Sprite is really destroying me. I'm surprised we're still alive. Be 
because we were in a pretty bad situation at the start of the game. Since the start of the game. Another Ironite crush and smack me in the face for 4 damage. Uh, I'm going down. Anyways. Um, there's no card that could save me. Maybe a Shadow Farm. Uh, nope, I'm not drawing a Shadow Farm here. Let's just sacrifice the Spectral Saber. Destroy the King's Pride. And what will we play? Death Collector. And we'll end turn. So we're taking 5 damage at least next turn. So you could bring me down to 2. And I have nothing. I can do nothing with those blood moons because I cannot draw cards because I need to use stealth next turn. Even maybe we'll not, not even get there. Oh, he's going to take down my death collector. Nope, he's going for my face, dealing me a lot of damage. Going down to three. So what's next? What card should we play? Another Iron Eye Crush. And one more attack. At my face. Bringing me down to two. So any Iron Eye Crush can destroy me. Let's just get rid of this. Uh, what we probably want to do is. Uh, Want to use this ability? Yeah, I do think so. I do think so. Want to remove that plasma beam off, and we want to attack this darkwood rat, and we want to cast this one. Use our ability. And hold on to those two cards. And turn. So we're surviving for another turn. Still on two. Two health. We're fighting. Uh, still fighting. We're lying on the ground with our Moonstalker. And let's just see what he's going to play. Another Enrage. Doesn't matter. His life doesn't matter at this point. I just have to stay alive and destroying his allies. So that's what we're going to do. He should be able to pump up his. Oh. Um. Yeah, well, we just have to do this. Use our ability to destroy this one. Taking him down. And then we attack him before. And we will attack him for four. And we'll sacrifice him. This is going to die. Anyways. And we'll play a uh, plasma BMO. And now I'm dead. If he has a weapon, I'm dead. Then I already gave him the GG. Nope, I did not chat. But one weapon, and I'm dead. If he doesn't have a weapon, maybe it's getting... No, no, there it is, Berserker's Edge, a pretty massive weapon as well. So we fought, we, we did our best, and we will die. We did the best we could with our Moonstalker deck, but I really... Uh, yeah, I already thought that this deck was not strong enough for the 260s rating. So maybe if you are on 240, 250, it's still a, a nice deck to play because this ability is so nice, giving all your uh, allies stealth. It's giving you a lot of advantage. Uh, but hey, uh, we lost again, so uh, I hope you liked the match. And uh, maybe you're building a Dark Stalker, Dark Stalker deck yourself, Moonstalker deck. Uh, it's really fun to play with. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And we will see you next match. Cheers!